Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we continue with Complete the Ark and Scorched Earth. Today the plan is to go on the hunt for some more creatures that might be of use to us. I want to go down to the Wyvern Trench and check out if we can find any more eggs. Between episodes I have been in the trench and I've managed to get a 110 Fire Wyvern egg. But really what we need is the Lightning Wyverns if we're going to be using them in the final fight against the boss. So we'll check out the trench again, see what we can come up with there. And of course the Fear Evolved event is currently going on. So there's plenty of creatures around Scorched Earth with some really cool colours. So if I can find anything with a nice colour, perhaps a RG or a Doodon would be actually quite nice. I was thinking about taming one of them up. There's plenty of them on Scorched Earth. And of course, it doesn't really matter as to the level. We can use these creatures and breed them with better level ones. So it's not always the case that it has to be that absolutely great leveled creature of color that we need. We can just breed them back with the other creatures. So I know um, that's a meme that tends to go round. Like we've got this Doodon down here and it's a nice red color, but you can sort of guarantee that it's going to be a low level. So yeah, a level... 10 Doodon. Now that might be uh, a good creature to tame up. I did actually take Sergeant Porkins into the final fight and they do give a little bit of a healing buff so they don't take up much space on the platform as well when you take them into the final fight. So perhaps a Doodon might be a, a useful one to take into the final fight and perhaps we could do some breeding with that. That's typical. The uh, loot drop has just disappeared so we'll see what we can find this is uh, Phyla Collio country and I have of course got Vex but if I found a decent level or a, a really nice coloured Phyla Collio we could breed that back in with Vex and perhaps make a different variant of our Phyla Collio which I plan to take into the next two caves uh, here we go we've got a T-Rex here Quite often find a T-Rex spawning around here as well. Looks like it's got a cool purple colour, but yeah, again, not a great level. I think we're missing a female Rex. We've got a reasonable level male Rex, but as before, I want to find as many decent level Rexes as possible if we're going to use the Rexes in the final fight. And I have also got the saddle blueprint as well. We got that from a drop a couple of episodes ago. So the Rexes are always the option as well. So we'll continue and just see what we can find today. And I say there's not as many T-Rexes spawning on this map. But uh, here we go. Is that another one? It looks like it. And it's got event colors on it as well. Level 75 female. And of course, as I was saying before, we could use that and breed it back in with the dinosaurs to get those colours. You don't necessarily need the mutation. Just right at the end when we've got our perfect dinosaur, if we just bred it back and kept the stats that we need, we could use it. But for now, I'm just going to kill them. This has kind of been my morning run for quite a while now killing the T-Rexes so maybe we'll come across something today but there are quite a lot of Deodons on the map so I think I may try looking for some reasonable levels or perhaps something of a nice colour again actually I could do with an Anki I have got a good leveled Anki but 
again, I could do with breeding and mutating it. Even just an imprint on an Anki would actually help me gather more metal. We could get a few more levels on it, so... Yeah, we'll just keep hunting around and see what we can see. Ark is one of those games. It's just a matter of patience and seeing what you can find. So, I think really, yeah, a Deodon would be quite a good find today. And perhaps if we could do some breeding there, get some good levels. It's all about the uh, food and the weight on the Deodon. And that could help us in the, the final fight. Keep whatever creatures we take into that fight well leveled. So, nothing so far. So, I'll come back when we find something of value. Okay, so I found a level 85 Deodon. It's got some really nice colours on it. Not a great level, but if we can find another decent one, perhaps a decent female, and then breed it back in and get the stats that we want, we can use this one and get a really cool colour on the Deodon. Of course, a full imprint would help improve the stats. It's not that we would be riding this one into battle in the final fight, but if we can get some good weight, food and health on it, it really could help us in the end. And being that we can take 20 creatures into that final fight, just having one Deodon on there, it does save a little bit of space. And the Wyverns take up quite a bit of space on that platform, as do the Rexes. So I was kind of looking around for something half decent. And uh, perhaps a Uteranus would have been good today as well. I've got a couple at the back that have been laying eggs, but uh, they're not very good levels. They're just there purely for the kibble. But I do need a decent level one of those. Okay, what have we got over here? Looks like... Is that a raptor? Yeah, that's not much good to us. Okay, well, just continue hunting. Do sometimes get Rexes around this area as well. And is that a Rex just there? Oh, okay. A female 145. Okay, so I'm definitely going to go for that. We have already got a male. So a female would be really good. Let's just grab its attention. I don't tend to build taming pens. I try to get up high where we can. Of course, the Rex doesn't really scare the Wyverns. I can land up here. Should be able to aggro it over towards us. If we can actually land. Could have actually done with Vex. I find taming creatures on the Phylocolio actually much easier. Vex is pretty powerful. She could pretty much tank this Rex. So I should have really brought her with me. Uh -huh. There she goes. Just behind that tree over there. But a 145, that's really good. That's the first decent level Rex I've found. I can't remember if the other was a 120. I haven't found any max level creatures this time round of use. You never know what sort of stats you can get, so... Try not to waste... If I actually hit it, let's try and get a bit closer to it. That should be a hit. Oh, come on, Ark. Oh, it must be just out of range. Try and get a little bit lower. It should be alright. There we go. So it'd probably take quite a few tranks to drop this one. Let's do our best. So at 145, so at least we've got a pair of Rexes that are possible to breed with. It gives us a start. I really have actually 
killed quite a lot of them on this map throughout the playthrough since we've been here. And shame doesn't have any nice colours. You never know what can come out with the mutations in breeding. It's just I find the event colours, they're always original. Some really cool greens and purples and reds for the Fear Evolved event. So, for those of you that caught my monthly update video as well, I will be doing a live stream this weekend on Saturday, which is all to do with the Extra Life event that wildcards usually get involved with. So, we'll be going for 12 hours and then I'm going to be passing my stream on to Shazella. So, between us, we're doing a team event and we're going to be trying to raise money for the Extra Life charity event. So. If Twitch is your thing, don't forget to drop me a follow there. And I'll be streaming between 9am and 9pm UK time. i just help this Rex out. Don't want it getting damaged. Uh, should I jump down there? But if Twitch is your thing and uh, you want to come and check us out on Twitch at the weekend, like I say, it's all for a good cause, it's all for the Extra Life event. And of course, next week, I will be doing a podcast talking about all of the news from Genesis 2 as well. We'll see what's going to be happening there, see what reveals we get from Wildcard on that one. So quite looking forward to the weekend. And if you are able, then come by, drop in on Twitch this Saturday the 7th. Torpor running. I'm running low on trank darts as well. Should be about there. Come on. Ah, there we go. It's down. Okay, so we've got a 145 Rex. I'm just going to keep pumping the stamina on Sarah here. I'm pretty happy about that. Now, I wasn't 100% sure as to whether we're going to be taking Rexes into this final fight or not. But, at least we've got that option now. Well, hopefully we, we do. Depending on the stats that we get from this. Without mods, we never really know what kind of points we're going to get on a wild level creature until it's tamed. So obviously the more creatures you have and the more high level Rexes we have, the more options we've got when it comes to breeding and uh, selective breeding, bringing our stats together. Now, just across from here, we've got the ruins of Nasty, which is the sunken city. And of course, I'm gonna be going over the lore of Ark. I know I get lots of requests to do the read through, but at the moment, I need all of the Explorer notes that we can get. I have to use them throughout the play playthrough. But as soon as we finish Scorched Earth, I will be going back to doing a note read through. And uh, we'll find out exactly what happened on Scorched Earth in terms of the lore. But uh, the cave entrance is just over there in that building there. And I do really like the caves on Scorched Earth. They really are detailed. Okay. It should be safe. Just want to get rid of all of the creatures around it. Stick some kibble on it. And the entrance to that cave is just in that building over there. Now you needed to go through a little doorway. You used to have to crouch down to be able to get into that cave, but they have recently removed the entrance that blocked it. So it's just in that building over there where the cave entrance is. You used to have to crouch down, but of course, now we've got the cryopods, we'll be able to take our Philo in there regardless. But since they've moved the entrance, it gives you a lot more options. Of course, 
can just sort of see the steps leading down into the cave entrance there. But of course, having the cryopods as an option, it really has made a difference in the way that you can do caves. Remember, you used to have to breed the keep creatures on the outside and then lead them through. So uh, now we don't have to do that. Okay. Oh, we can grab these little loot drops. Plenty of useful things when the Fear Evolved events are on. Getting lots of treats and just helps with things like mutton and uh, all different types of foods that we can get. Yeah. Okay, well, a 145 Rex. That's a, that's a good start. We'll uh, keep on hunting around today and see what else we can find. Drop over here, may as well grab it. I have found the loot quality on Scorched Earth. I feel it has definitely been better than on the island map. Got a Deodon over here. Oh, a 145 Deodon. Okay, well, and that was a, a female as well. Go. Another rocket as well. I'm ending up with plenty of them rockets. Okay, well, you're just sat here, so I do need another Deodon. We can breed it with that one that we've already got. The nice green colours on it. Of course, it's not going to aggro on the wyvern as well. So we can just drop it into our taming pen. So we'll breed that back with the one that we've got already. And uh, we should be able to build something quite strong there. Can we make it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I was going to head back towards the Wyvern Trench, but we can't really leave that behind. That was the plan today. I want to find a few of these. There we go. So if we breed that one back with the one with the nice colours, and we can end up getting the stats that we want from the better dinosaur, and of course, hopefully that jumps on to the one with the colours that we want as well. So it's pretty much an instant tame, these Deodons. They use food to heal themselves, so they're always hungry by the time you knock them out. And let's have a quick look at the stats here. So 6,500 health and just over 11,000 food. So that's pretty good. If we breed that back with the one that we've got, it's got the nice colours on it, I think we'll have a reasonable Deodon for the final fight. That'd be quite useful. So we'll have to get on with breeding these Deodons back. I think we'll head down to the Wyvern Trench. I'll just grab our Rock Golems. Don't need that. I'm ending up with quite a lot of these homing missiles. Maybe they'll come in useful in a cave or something. I'll just stack them up. And I'm getting plenty of the Wyvern Talons as well. I'm going to need them as trophies to be able to fight that final boss. I've got a Ghost Wolf skin and a ghost t-rex skin as well as part of the event stuff i think we'll take our rock columns back out to the wyvern trench and head on that way okay so our cryo sickness cooldown is gone this time so i'll just set this one onto turret mode Again, the idea here is just to drag the wyverns out of the trench towards our golems. So, let's see what we can do. See what's down there. Okay, let's just get these guys. Uh, 
have had a few comments with people saying, why don't you use a pterodon? Of course, there are no pterodons on this map. There's no over raptors on this map. And the conditions and the rules are, I can't go back to the island to grab my old creatures. So I've got to make do with what's on this map. So that's why I'm using this method. Oh, actually, Lightning Wyvern's aggroed on us here. So just making do with what is on this map to us without bringing creatures from other maps. I mean, otherwise, quite literally, I could have brought our battle rexes across from the island map and uh, Scorched Earth wouldn't have been much of a challenge. Of course, I had full tech gear as well at the end of that playthrough. So that's why we're not using pterodons. And of course, if we used an over raptor, then we could just go in and grab an egg without even aggroing any of the creatures here. Got over here. It's a decent level. Again, no lightning wyvern eggs. Oh, 165. I think that's the highest level we've found so far, egg wise. Again, it's a poison wyvern one though. It's the lightning wyverns that we're looking for. And I'm just doing this on my RG instead of the wyvern. The wyvern's useful to drag everything out of the trench. But you really don't want to underestimate the trenches. And fighting wyverns with wyverns is not a great move. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, so we're back at base and I'm breeding our Deodons. I've also incubating our Wyvern eggs. We ended up with, we've got that 110 Fire Wyvern, which we've just hatched now. And I've got another 160 and a 165 poison wyvern egg so we may as well get on with incubating some of them just pull them out of the way we'll do some breeding i think today's been quite a good day really still haven't found these lightning wyvern eggs and again we would need quite a few if we're going to be planning to take them into the boss fight in the end Here we go. Okay. So we've got our first baby. Uh, again, it's got the colours we want, but it's got the father's stats there. So what we really want is to breed these back until we get the mum's health and food and weight as well. I'm not quite sure. Has this one ended up with a mutation straight away? Because it's actually black on the top. Uh, it looks really cool but it hasn't got the stats we need. Okay, so we're done with the imprinting and breeding today. Again, I'm using our patron naming rights for all of the creatures that we come across in our playthrough. And rather than renaming the wyverns, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna name them version two. So when we get a better lightning wyvern, our main one we'll call Sabo version two. So that way we know Sabo's the lightning one. Of course, we've got Lion Lord. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. And we ended up with a really good Deodon here with a full imprint. Girls, we got the food that we wanted, the weight that we wanted from the mum and the health. And we've got that really cool event color. So Lion Lord, thank you very much for the support on Patreon. We have Sarah Bella here, who's a 165 currently, but that's because I've pumped levels into her. We have Daniel M. Again, thank you very much for the support. Daniel M., really appreciate it. And we've now got Sarah Bella version 2, which has some really cool yellow streaks running down this dino. So, again, that's a 165 to begin with. And this Poison Wyvern, we've been pumping points into, so it's considerably stronger. I figured rather than getting confusing and naming all of the patrons here and there, we'll just stick with the names that we've got for our patrons on the Wyverns. And I think in the final fight, 
I'll go down the list of who is on the patron fights and we'll name each one of the Rexes after the current patrons. Uh, that way it might make it a little bit more fun for the playthrough. I have stuck another cryo fridge in and having a look at the Rexes that we do have, well our male has a reasonable amount of stamina on it, but check this out we've got over 10,000 on the health and the melee is not looking too bad on this female rex so i'm really really happy with that in fact out of all of the rexes i got on the island i didn't start off with 10,000 health and i'm pretty happy with that one that may be good enough to even just start breeding of course i'm going to keep my eyes open for some more but that's a really good starting point so i think we got pretty lucky with that one uh, so thank you very much to all my patrons for all of your help of course it's really really does make a great difference to the channel and uh, because of your help we've been able to do some competitions on the discord and of course it helps with the clusters because we're going to be upgrading the arc community server and adding both aberration and extinction so we've got a complete selection of all of the maps on the community server so if you're on pc and you're interested in joining you are more than welcome again i'm just going to remind you about this saturday we've got the extra life event and i'll be doing a 12 hour stream and then i'm going to be passing on my stream to shizella who's going to continue the next 12 hours so we'll be going for 24 hours and i'll be starting at 9 a.m uk time so if you are about and able i hope to see you there but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you